Afternoon sneakerheads, YouTube, Instagram. It's me, 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 London Link, aka the sneaker speaker. And um, thank you for joining me. I'm going to start with that. But I am over excited about the thing I'm about to open right now. Um, yeah, yeah. The shelf's looking a bit old school. There's a little clue there. Um, I gotta say big up to my people down at Offspring, man. A big hook up on this one. Um, like I say, very, very excited about this one. I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, this is, this is, this shows my age. This is my era. Um, it's an old school box. See, yeah, the Harachi's got the same the same box there. Um, it's a big deal. This is a this is a big deal. Um, thank you for joining me for this big deal. <laughs> um, I don't know whether to show you the label because it just gives everything away. But that is what we do. So let me show you the label. Um, it's a brand new one that dropped just yesterday. Um, so, no, it was Friday actually. Stand corrected, it was Friday. Um, but yeah, I will show you the label. The shelf is a big clue. But here we have the Air Tech Challenge 2 QS, meaning quick strike. And the colors there, you probably can just see, it says Phantom, Lava, or Hot Lava, and Black. Yeah, so if you know your sneakers, you'll know which this is. Um, exciting times, like I say. This is my era, man. This is my era. Let's get it straight open, so you too, know what I'm talking about. Whew! We get them both out. Get them both out. Okay, so signature dash and we have a nice clear run up today. Right, so yes, here we have the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2 in the hot lava colorway. Um, I'll show you this one up close because this one's got the, the lovely groovy hang tag, um, but I'll show you this one in a bit more detail. What a shoe, what a shoe, man. So iconic, just screams nostalgia. Um, let me show you the shoe, let me show you the shoe. So here you will see, oh man, it just makes me smile, man. <laughs> it's a beauty. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's like a mid boot. It's not too low, it's not too high. Um, you, you see from, we have the aged midsole there with the air unit. Um, you'll see it's kind of, it's broken, it's split in two. So you've got the gray on top of that midsole. Um, going into that hot pink swoosh. The, the same pink with the black. It's like almost like a cracked look. Um, details on them side panels, uh, white leather. So we've got a mixture of synthetic leather and real leather on this upper. Uh, big perforated toe box, you know, with a slightly different pattern or shape for the Nike toe box. Kind of resembles that. It's kind of got that New Balance 550 style kind of toe box. 
you know we've got some some plastic around the eyelets there it's almost like a corduroy tongue the way it's ribbed there with that pink with the black and gray nike logo on the tongue um it's almost you know very similar to the jordan 4 that midsole you know um the back just looking so old school nike air embossed there on the black tumbled leather feeling like a nice piece of leather to be honest um with this like fabric again ribbed looked to the ankle inside we've got a lovely soft sock liner kind of cotton sock liner look at the inner sole there with the same pink hits the back of the tongue with the pink hits oh man you've got the wings here again i'm going to mention jordan 4 again with these wings on the side there out of sole pow whopping you know what i mean for me this is just old school at its finest. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so glad I managed to get my hands on this pair. Um, I was upset on the day of release trying to, trying to hit up all the retailers that had them with no joy. But yeah, let's go into the details of these released um on the 6th of september 2024 i believe the us actually got these a week before us i think they was the 30th of august um but sold out in both places very very quickly like immediately um and i was not aware that these were gonna be so popular do you get what i'm saying um for me, I was around when these dropped initially in, in 1990, you know, and um, to see them resurface is a beautiful thing. We have seen them a few times. Um, they've dropped a few times. I know, I think the last time they dropped was 2019. Um, not with this age look, obviously. They dropped in 2019. They was brilliant white like you would have expected back in the 90s. Um, I think there was a reverse hot lava, so there was a mainly black upper um, in 2020. In my opinion, it didn't hit so well. Um, 2014 and I think 2016, we actually saw these drop as well, but it hasn't been as popular as this drop. Like I say, with the age look, that you know, that yellow midsole, it's more of a a sail upper nowadays like a more of a creamy sail upper rather than a brilliant white and for me that is an extremely extremely good good look man um but yeah sold out rapid man um i tried several retailers online with no joy at all um and luckily people them down at offspring stepped in and helped a brother out <laughs> So very, very appreciative, man. Thank you, Offspring, man. You my guys, man. Um, but yeah, a pair that I really wanted, desperately wanted, man. Um, more than most of these collabs and, you know, these hyped pairs, there's just some on the radar for nostalgia that that brother like me wants, man. So yeah, very, very uh, grateful and, uh, and appreciative. To, to, to get these in my possession. Do you get what I mean? Um, this was my era for kicks, man. Um, two main reasons. At the age that these dropped, I was, I was probably the most impressionable. Um, and in my opinion, this is when Nike was dropping their hottest stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the shelf says it all. The 180s. You know, that in its time was... To see that, witness that was amazing. Air Max 90. Does it get more iconic than that? The BW. The Harachi. Do you get what I'm saying? That was my era, man. Like the flight times. Do you get what I'm saying? Like some, some real good trainers dropped 
around this era, man. The air trainer, um, the Jordan five and six. Come on, man. It was it was a splendid time for shoes, man. A, an, an insane period. I'm talking like classics like the Reebok pumps and the, the Adidas Oregon's. Like it was a it was it was a time to be around and witness these trainers drop in for the first time. Now, this particular pair um, was made famous by Andre Agassi. Big up Andre Agassi. You know what I'm saying? Um, in my opinion, well, Agassi was our favourite, man. Do you get what I'm saying? He wasn't, he wasn't rolled as such, but he definitely brought that flair to the sport. Do you know what I'm saying? Tennis before was very, um, it was very clean, classic, white on white, you know, con kind of considered a posh sport, if I'm honest. Um, and Agassi with, with these and, and with, with his Nike, um, his Nike fits just brought, like I say, a little flair to the sport. This is a, a another Tinker Hatfield masterpiece. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's no coincidence, in my opinion, that um, all the silhouettes I seem to love were created by this guy. Do you get what I'm saying? So big up Tinker Hatfield as well. Um, but yeah, I believe the concept with this shoe was that... Um, what was the slogan? I think it was anti-country club, which says it all really. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, like I said, tennis before was a bit more clean, a bit more classic, a bit more like cricket kind of get up. Do you get what I'm saying? Very gentlemanly, white on white, you know, pristine. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, the anti-country club, it was to bring something different to the sport. And it was an amazing thing. Brought some colour in there. And I think that's honestly, in my opinion, why these quickly switched from the tennis court to the streets. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Very much welcomed on the road. This this pair of shoes. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, that's why we love Agassi. And that's why these kicks changed everything. In my, in my honest opinion. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, let's do a little um, crep check for today. Keeping in theme with this, this 90s look. Do you get what I'm saying? Just happen to be wearing these today, if I'm honest. The Air Max 90 Bacon. What socks I got? Oh, little pink something there. But yeah, um, yeah, keeping in theme. Air Max 90. Like I say, man, I was I'm happy to be around in that era, man. Um, some of the some of the the best things happened around about them times. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, very very happy to add that pair to the collection. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, um, hit me on the Instagram official sneaker speaker, um, and yeah, man. I'll catch you again real soon.